All right, I figured I'd do a little video on all the manuals and stuff I've acquired doing this. Some of them I bought, some of them I got tractors out here in the garage tonight. But I guess we'll start here. These are ID tags. This is off of a tractor I parted out. I think this came off a of bower deck. There's some more around here somewhere, some tractors I parted out. But this book here is mainly just the tractor manuals. Some of them are original, some of them are copies. This is a SS-16. Then I got a ST-16. Super 14, Super 12, another Super 12. Some of them are duplicates. Some of them are copies that I bought before I got the real thing. Hydro. The other part of the hydro stuff. And then this was my grandfather's manual for his hydro that's back over there hiding and then that's the other one that was his suburban 12 original manual and then this was also my grandfather's the tractor's long gone but i found this in the filing cabinet this was my grandfather's too snow plow with the little hang tag and a 67 super 12 with all the the brochure there's some snowblower stuff there's a hang tag for a mower deck manual i think i think all this good was with that i think all these are with that one then an old i don't know 66 or something that's what year that one is and then I think that's it for tractor manuals. And then for the attachments, I have a couple du duplicates of these too. Some of them are different. This one has the model number for the hydros on it. Another three-point hitch. Electric three-point hitch. This is a wiring kit little manual for the electric three-point hitch another three-point hitch that was a copy that i bought roto spader with a couple tags and stuff that i guess were hanging on it when it was new there's a motor thing for the tiller mold board plow sweep holder 10 inch plow spike tooth drag haro Cultivator. I now have a couple cultivators, I think. Leveler blade. Another greater leveler blade. This is an older one. Got the original hang tag. Mid mount blade manual. Sear sickle bar. Haven sickle bar. Dozer blade. Snow plow. Another dozer blade. Haven Snowblower, I think. That's what that one is. And again, I bought some of these copies before I had the originals. The Snow Thrower Attachment. The regular Sears one. The Field Improvement Kit for the Sears Snowblower. Mower Deck. Mower Deck. Early Mower Deck. Another Mower Deck. I got a bunch of Mower Deck manuals. That's another early one. Seat kit. I thought that one was cool. I got it in a couple manuals. It was stuck in one of the pages. And then this is for a snow cab. It says 67 on it, I think, somewhere. And belt guard. Little manual thing. That's just a random plow manual I had from something else. And 
And then I can't remember what's in this one. I think this one's got some receipts and some belt numbers and stuff. This one's the leftover gaskets from when I regasketed that Briggs. I kept the part number. There's the manual for the Briggs motors. Tecumseh manual. I got the carburetor breakdown in there. Same thing as the first one. And I got the Tecumseh engine manual. I got the 81 farm and ranch. It's got the FF on it. I think that also has FF in it too, the 79 or something. It's got something in it, that's why I bought it. I got the 73 Sears catalog, 1970, and 68. All right, well, I just wanted to make a quick little short video. I've never shown these on the YouTube, I posted them in the Facebook group, but I've never posted them on YouTube. I'm out here trying to get a couple things done. All right, thanks for watching. A little bit earlier, I finally got the decal for the dash on the Suburban 12. It's not perfect. It looks better than it did with just the white back there. It kind of makes the shifter decal look pretty bad, but I'd rather keep the original numbers and all on it. It did look worse. I cleaned it up a little bit before I put it on, but it turned out pretty good. I'm still missing the uh, knob for the light switch. I just got a good one off of that ST16 that I farted out. I don't know what the hell I did with it though. I looked around a little bit for it tonight, but I couldn't find it. And I got the park and brake decal and got that put on. I want to get, I think there's one for the air filter. And I kind of just matched up to that one. It's more straight than running downhill. I mean, these things were built back in the day. I doubt they were all the same, but I think it looks pretty good. I put it straight with the park and brake instead of running it along the frame at an angle. But I think it turned out pretty good. I don't know how you're supposed to get this stuff tightened up without the decal trying to spin on you. There's a couple spots where it wanted to twist, but I got it on there. It would have been easier to do before I had the gas tank and all that in it, but I really didn't think about it when I did it. But that turned out pretty good. I gotta wipe this thing down. I had it out in the rain. It's a little bit dirty. And then I ordered that tarot putty from that redneck on YouTube makes those st weird videos and I got it put on that gas tank out of the hydro because I want to get the one out of there and get it painted for the 67 Super 12 so I was going to record me doing it but you pretty much just break off a piece of what you need and it's got an inner layer and an outer layer and you kind of Push it with your fingers, knead it until it gets one color. And then you just apply it. There's instructions with it, but I'm sure you could. He's probably got videos on how to use it. But this thing had just the smallest crack on the seam over there. I put it over here. So if you ever have one of these under the hood gas tanks out, put something under it because from it vibrating just a little bit on the metal. It was tight when I pulled it out, but I usually use this toolbox liner. I got some extra. I just cut out a piece and put underneath the tank on top of the battery tray to keep it from rubbing. 
Although it's probably not a good thing if you keep your tractor outside. It might cause it to rust faster or something, but... I like doing it ever since I had this problem with this one. I've been putting stuff under it. I think this has stuff under it. I got a couple things I want to do tomorrow. I'm going to power wash some stuff. I'm finally bringing power washer over here. I got the ST12 that I want to power wash. Some of the grease off of it. And the SS14 under there. Because last winter is when I got those towards the end of the year and I never got them power washed. I might do the 18.6 too. I kind of did that at the car wash. But yeah, hopefully this stuff works. It wasn't leaking bad, but after sitting a while, it, ran, it runs right on top of the starter generator. And you probably don't want fuel going on top of that, so... Hopefully that sets up and I can get that swapped in there. I might not do it this weekend. And next weekend I think I'm going to West Virginia. So I don't know if I'll have a video up next weekend or not. I need to order a new breather tube for this. When I went to pull the air cleaner off it just snapped it so hard. And I need to get the right bolts for these gauge wheels or whatever the hell you call them. I think that's what you call them. That bottom one looks like it might be the right size, but it's just loose. And the top one's some weird bolt. I need to pull it off and see if I can find a bolt at work for it. Yeah... That's why I got this up here. I want to do a couple things to it. I still haven't changed the oil on it. I need to do that. Got a transmission I got to do something with. I have another one under there that was grinding and it's got all the seals on it are leaking and it's been grinding. So I'll probably end up stripping the rest of the parts off of that that I want and then taking that out from under there and putting that one there. yeah this stuff worked pretty good it went on pretty easy easy process so that after like two minutes it'll start to harden that probably i don't know i might throw it in tomorrow and just not put gas in it i don't know how long i should wait before i put gas in it but i might throw it in tomorrow depending on what happens i gotta power wash the sheds tomorrow and do a couple other things all right, I might add some more stuff in tomorrow. I'm probably about done tonight. Clean up, get the other tractors in from outside. All right, I'll add some more to this tomorrow, probably. All right, well, it's Saturday now. Got all my power washing done and all. I power washed the ST12. And I also did the 18.6. Got some of the grease off the wheels. Threw a battery in it. It's been sitting for a little while. Had to throw some gas in it. And then I just got done putting the original gas tank back in the hydro. Got to throw the battery back in it still, but... It wasn't too bad. I'm not going to put gas in it yet. I'm going to wait a little bit. I don't really think I have to, but I'm going to... Because I don't really plan on running it anytime soon anyway. But I got that back in. And I got the steering wheel fixed on the 67. Got the center cap in it. And I got a light switch knob for the Suburban 12. I gotta put that on. I got a PTO cover that came off of this motor. I'm trying to get some of the red paint off so I can get it put on this. Because this one was missing it when I got it. It was missing that side panel there too. I had that one. 
but I want to get a PTO cover on it and it's missing this side cover that I'm gonna to have to try to find I had one but it was original paint yellow too but I put it on this I'll have to look I might have one my parts storage is a mess right now the filing cabinets over there are all full you can barely tell what's in there I gotta go through and get rid of some stuff if I had more time I'd list the stuff up for sale clean out some because I got like triples of stuff probably even more of that of some stuff but I got this pressure washed I kind of probably should have opened the hood and got that but I didn't want to get too much on the motor got all the wheels cleaned up on it yeah the hydro is coming along When I first got this thing for my grandpa, I'd sat in a garage for like 20 years and I never even cleaned the carb on it and just put fresh gas in it. The choke cable was broken, so I just manually choked it. The starter generator was pretty weak. I know these hydros kind of slow them down. I even had the release pulled and all. Before with the old starter generator, I had to put my foot on the clutch to get it to crank fast. But the starter generator completely quit. It quit charging. So I took another one I had and put on it. Sometime last fall. Still working good. Got the 18.6 power wash too. I'm working on. I got a set of front wheels. That are the narrower ones i measured them with the tool at work and i think they're four wide so i'm going to try to put tri ribs on them with tubes and i'm going to paint them for this i got most of them stripped down but there's still some i got to strip on them and paint them i'll have to look see if i got paint i know i got this cream color but i already painted most of the other stuff in regular white so i'm going to paint the wheels white regular white like I did on the Suburban 12 but you can't see them too much because hubcaps but I'm going to try to get a couple more things done I might get the seat sanded on that I pulled it off I started sanding it but I didn't finish it yet and then I got to start cleaning up some rear wheels Probably put tri ribs and then eggs like I did with the Suburban 12. I just think they look good like that. Super 12, I haven't done much with that. Moved some stuff around today after I power washed everything. Power washed the garage, cleaned the gutters out. So I've been messing with that most of the day. Alright, I'll probably add a little bit more into this maybe. I don't know what I got plan for tomorrow i'm gonna to be doing something out here i'll probably be over here for a little bit more today too all right this is gonna wrap up this video i didn't really do too much more messed around with the st12 a little bit rode that around a little bit got my vice mounted on the workbench it was mounted down there but you can't use it the way it's set up now so there was already a big hole here anyway that I covered up. I don't think I showed this. I got a knob for the light switch on. They cleaned up pretty good. Got the gas cap and all battery back in the hydro. I got a PTO cover I'm working on cleaning up still. I just got a rag soaked in old gasoline sitting on it, try to get the spray paint off. There's like three different layers. There's a red layer, a green layer, a black layer. 
and then another yellow layer that's not the original i've gotten down to the original color in a couple spots but I'm just kind of letting that gasoline soak on it. That's bubbling the spray paint up. Alright, thanks for watching.